now evolving into a group of innovators mainly around betterment of products that can specifically help municipalities. This is recycling of plastic and I'm not going to read the slides. Uh, there's the guy that did most of the development. This is plastic to oil process and the nice thing is this does not these plastics do not have to go to the, the dump as we see here uh, in the problem that Johannesburg has. These plants in a 12 meter container can actually be put up in an area where plastic is generally a problem. So you're also saving the transportation of the rubbish to the dump by processing it there where it is. It basically can use almost any of the plastics, but the preferable ones are the two, four, five and six, which give the better yields. But all plastic can be processed. And it's a relatively simple process once you've cracked the problem, which has been done over the last two years. A plan that was bought two years ago did not work. And out of that, this process was improved. You can see this is an oil watch certificate and maybe enlarging slightly. You can see it has passed all the tests. In fact, this is actually better than pump diesel. However, it cannot be sold, but a municipality can use this diesel. And at the same time, they are creating jobs. And at the same time, they are getting rid of the plastic problem. Now, I'm first going to go through this and then we'll come back to this video because there's a lot of gas generated and this gas can in fact just be used in a gas generator. We are running a second plant now on the gas but only still using 15% of the gas generated. So there's still 85% that can be used or can be chilled and processed and then sold as there is not the same legislation on gas as in the case of fuel products. Like we say, plastic is a problem turned into gold in many ways. Now we are going back to the video in order that this can be viewed. Uh, this video is as of the 23rd of April 2019. This is the first uh, plant that has now been installed. And as you see, it is not in a container, this one. It is installed in the effort of putting on more plant. And we'll explain that later is a pyrolysis process of putting plastic through a system and there are three temperature gauges over here and it's not on full process run yet but with the last modifications it actually is producing very very well basically it is plastic chips like this the crusher will still be put on there and then it goes through the pyrolysis process and down into various systems over here. And as you will see, it actually splits the fuel flow. Into this we've got dieselene coming. And the dieselene, as we say, is not on full flow yet. Very difficult to see in there. But there you are, the steady stream that will grow. You can see the bubbling of the process over there. That is a bubbler. And 
as we say, for a kilogram of plastic, you get about 800 milliliters of very, very high quality diesel. All tested, and the test results are available. You get uh, about 10 milliliters of a high octane fuel petrol, and then the residue of carbon is eventually taken out the bottom of the air. And that is basically the process. It is a continuous feeding process according to the temperatures. There's an expensive valve, and it feeds through this hopper system over here with an auger. So the plant is typically built to be started on a Monday morning early, to then run for five days and produce diesel that then goes through another cyclone process over here, comes into a tank over here, additives, and is ready for use. It can be guaranteed of over 500 liters per 24 hours, and in fact, much more can be produced depending on these last modifications. As can be seen, this is the gas being burnt off. However, this gas can be captured and is worth more than the dieselene. So it is undoubtedly a process that has only value. With a fast opinion in this thing. 